to Rome Semiconductor's demonstration of the BU9458 series USB host audio media decoder IC. In this demonstration, we will be integrating the BU9458 series media decoder with Oki Semiconductor's ML610Q412 low power microcontroller via I2C bus to show the functionality of this device in slave modes 2 and 3. The BU9458 series IC is an ACC, WMA, and MP3 file type media decoder with integrated USB host interface, SD memory card host interface, digital to analog audio converter, as well as system control functions. This chip can be controlled in two ways. The first is in a standalone mode, here on referred to as mode 1. This mode allows the user to control the function of the chip by using push buttons connected directly to the IC. The second is by means of an I2C bus when connected to the master microcontroller and is set in one of its slave modes, hereon referred to as modes 2 and 3. We will be using this device in modes 2 and 3 for this demonstration. Let's begin by taking a look at the equipment we will be using. The board you see to the left is a demonstration board for the BU9458 series media decoder IC. The board to the right is Oki Semiconductor's ML610Q412 evaluation board mounted on top of a demo board, which includes push buttons, an LCD display, UART connection, and other various functions. As we will be connecting these devices using an I2C bus, we will use this connector to join the SDA, SCL, and ground pins of the BU9458 with the microcontroller. The final connection looks like the following. Next, let's take a look at the operation of the developed reference code in conjunction with the connected boards. As we can see here, we have a very simple main function consisting of an initial function and constantly looping while loop. This while loop will sequentially clear the watchdog timer, check for a push button event, turn the LED on every 1000 loop cycles for 1000 clock cycles, check the current state of the device, and depending on the state of the device, we'll enter one of eight keypad states, allowing for multiple function commands from the push buttons. Please note that we reset the device initially, in order to make sure that the initial function was activated when connected to the BU9458. The initial function contains I2C commands sent to the BU9458 that must be sent before the start of play. This includes an initial volume set and ID3 tag read capabilities. When the device is first turned on, it will initially be set in state 0, the play pause stop state. When push button 3 is pressed in this state, the master microcontroller will send the I2C command for play to the BU9458. As you may see, there is a minor lag in between when the command is sent and when the device starts playing. This is due to the ID3 tag setting set initially. Before the start of any song, the BU9458 will read the current song's title, artist, and album from their ID3 tag. When push button 2 is pressed, the master microcontroller sends the I2C command for pause to the BU9458. You'll notice that pause works just like it sounds and will allow the device to resume when play is pressed again. When push button 1 is pressed, the master microcontroller sends the I2C command for stop to the BU9458. This will return the device to its initial turn on state and will play the first song in memory when play is pressed again. In this state, the microcontroller is also reading the playtime of the current song and is displaying it on the LCD screen. This I2C read command is being sent approximately every 100 milliseconds. At any time, when push button 4 is pressed, the device will change states within the state changer function of the main loop. Thus, the next keypad state we enter when pressing push button 4 is state 1, the volume state. The volume of the BU9458 has 31 steps incrementing from 0 to hex 1F. In this state, when push button 3 is pressed, the volume will increment by 1. Likewise, when push button 2 is pressed, the volume will decrement by 1. Push button 1 will act differently depending on the device's current volume levels. If the current volume is not equal to 0, it will store the current volume level in a variable and send an I2C command instantly changing the volume to 0. If the current volume level is equal to 0, the volume will be restored with the previously saved volume setting, thus successfully implementing a mute function. When push button 4 is pressed again in this state, the keypad function changes to state 2, the track selection state. When push button 3 is pressed within this state, the MCU sends the FFN play command to the BU9458. 
This will jump to the next track and begin playing the song. When push button 2 is pressed within this state, the MCU sends the FB and play command to the BU9458. This will jump to the previous track and then begin playing the tune. When push button 1 is pressed within this state, the MCU will send the change device command to the BU9458. This command will switch the memory type from USB to SD or vice versa depending on what is currently being used. Upon startup, the BU9458 will search for and begin playing from the USB memory device before the SD memory device. Additionally in this state, the microcontroller will also read the file and folder number and display it on the LCD screen. Just like in the play state, the I2C read command is being sent approximately every 100 milliseconds. When push button 4 is pressed again, the keypad function changes to state 3, the fast forward rewind state. In this state, when push button 3 is pressed, a variable fftog will be toggled and depending on the current value of this variable, the MCU will either send an I2C command ffp on or ffp off. When ffp on is sent, the BU9458 will begin fast forwarding through the current song, and when ffp off is sent, the BU9458 will return to playing at normal speed. When push button 2 is pressed, the opposite will happen as it did for push button 3. The variable fftog will be toggled, and depending on the current value of this variable, the MCU will either send the I2C command for fbp on or fbp off. When fbp on is sent, the BU9458 will begin rewinding through the current song, and when fbp off is sent, the BU9458 will return to playing at normal speed. Push button 1 does not have a function in this state. Notice that because we are reading the current play time every 100 milliseconds from the BU9458, the time on the LCD display will constantly be updated. When push button 4 is pressed again, the keypad function changes to state 4, the folder change and information state, which functions very similarly to the track change state, as this state allows the user to cycle through folders within the current memory device. When push button 3 is pressed within this state, the MCU sends the folder plus and play command to the BU9458. This will jump to the next folder and begin playing the first tune within memory. When push button 2 is pressed within this state, the MCU sends the folder minus and play command to the BU9458. This will jump to the previous folder and begin playing the first tune within it. Additionally in this state, the microcontroller will also read the file and folder number and display it on the LCD screen just like in the track change state. When push button 4 is pressed again, the keypad function changes to state 5, the repeat random settings state, which allows the user to change the repeat and random settings of the BU9458. When push button 3 is pressed, the MCU will cycle through sending the repeat command to the BU9458, and the current repeat setting will be displayed in the hours place of the LCD display. When 0 is displayed, the device will repeat all tunes in memory. When 1 is displayed, the device will repeat the current tune. And when a 2 is displayed, the device will repeat all tunes in the current folder. When push button 2 is pressed, the MCU will cycle through sending the random command to the BU9458, and the current random setting will be displayed in the minutes place of the LCD display. When a 0 is displayed, the device will play all songs normally, and when a 1 is displayed, the device will play all songs randomly. Please note that when all songs are being played randomly, the BU9458 is limited to playing a track within plus or minus 8 file spaces away from it. For example, if the random function was set to 1 while playing file 11, the next track to be played would be from within tracks 3 through 19. Additionally, please note that for this demo, both repeat and random do not work together. If random is set and repeat is set afterwards, the songs will no longer be played at random, and vice versa. When push button 4 is pressed again, the keypad function changes to state 6, the equalizer settings state, which allows the user to cycle through different equalizer settings programmed into the BU9458. In this state, push button 3 will cycle forward through the equalizer modes, and push button 2 will cycle back through the equalizer modes. Please refer to the BU9458 functional specifications for the frequency characteristics of each mode. Finally, when push button 4 is pressed once again in this state, the keypad function changes to the seventh and final state, the ID3 tag read state. 
In order to use this state, please be sure to connect the MCU to a computer by connecting a serial cable to the MCU's Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter, or UART connection. When push button 3 is pressed in this state, the MCU will read the current playing song's file name and pull the title, artist, and album information from the ID3 tag. This information will be sent through the UART to be displayed on the computer. When push button 4 is pressed again within this state, the keypad function will return to state 0 and will cycle back through the different functions as stated earlier. This concludes our demonstration. Thank you for joining us in this presentation of the BU9458 series USB host audio media decoder IC. If you have any questions, please feel free to visit our contact us page on www.rome.com or www.romesemiconductor.com.